What is a lead magnet? Like I hear people talking about it. I hear people talking about lead generation, but I don't know exactly what it does. Don't worry. Don't sweat. We're going to get into it on this episode of the Your Podcast Mentor Show. I'm going to show you exactly what a lead magnet is, and I'm going to show you how you can build out your first one. All right, let's get into the episode. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here, you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? Family, what's going on? It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones, and this is another episode of the Your Podcast Mentor Show. And this show is uh, for those new entrepreneurs, those new speakers, coaches, consultants who are out there trying to figure out how can they prove they're who they say they are, right? How can they enhance their credibility? How can they create predictable cash flow? All of those great things. And believe it or not, we actually have a training coming up, right? It's a free training, and I'm going to break down just for you how you can do those things and how you can do that with a podcast. So we're going to have a link just down below. Go to getpaywithpodcasting.com forward slash webinar, and you can sign up for the training. All right, let's get into the episode. So what is a lead magnet? Okay, so first and foremost, you've probably heard the term before, lead magnet, right? What is that? So a lead magnet ultimately is a way to where you can get people who are interested in your stuff or what you have to offer. This is a way you can get their information, right? So get their name address, their name, maybe physical address, maybe email, maybe telephone number, these things are very important because they allow you to be able to market to them at any point in time. OK, so that's what a lead magnet is. It's you. You're you're speaking to a crowd. Right. Social media is a big crowd. You're speaking to a crowd. And then the people who are interested say, I'll stand up. Right. I, I want more. I want more information. I want to learn more about what you do. So that's the purpose of a lead magnet to get people from curious to action, right? So going from curious to actually taking an action. And the next part is, well, John, if I get curious people to take the first action to say I'm interested, now what am I providing them, right? That's an excellent question. And if you have been online at any point in time, right? Any point in time, you've seen somebody say with a pop-up, and they say, what's your name? What's your email address? And then they tell you that if you fill this out, then they'll send you something. So you're probably saying, well, what do I send them? Great question. So here are a few different options you can send people for lead magnets. One could be a case study. And a case study is breaking down maybe how your coaching philosophy, right? Or, or, or how your um, coaching program or process helped an individual generate $10,000 in a month, right? So you can send them a case study and a case study is just breaking down, okay, I told this person to do this, this, that, right? I told them to do this workout plan. I told them to eat these recipes and I told them to go to the gym this many times. This is how they were able to get X result. Or if I was saying the one about money, I told this person to sell this product. I told this person to market this over there at this particular event, right? And that's how they were able to generate that revenue. So I gave you two examples, okay? So one was uh, a weight loss example, which is really easy to quantify, right? Because you see somebody step on a scale before they're 240 pounds, now they're 136. Easy to quantify, right? And then the other one was monetary. So we're able to talk about how we help somebody go from X amount of money to now generating even more, right? So these are really beneficial examples and you want to now take it and then see how you can apply it to your business. So the first option was do a case study. Okay. So maybe record the video, break it down and then send it off to people. Another thing could be a PDF, right? A checklist, just like we've seen checklists everywhere. If you have kids and we talk about back to school, how they have the back to school checklist, right? 
And they would say, okay, you need pencils, you need Kleenex, you need to have a, a binder, you need to have a backpack. They have all these checklist items. For some people, they don't know the items that they need. So therefore, you having a checklist and letting them know these are all the items that you want to have before creating your website, right? This is the official website checklist, 10 things you need to know before starting your own business website. Somebody is going to click and check that out, right? Because they don't know what they don't know. And then after you get them to say yes, then you shoot them over the PDF, right? You shoot them over the checklist. And this is extremely valuable, extremely valuable. Hear me closely. Please hear me closely. Because now you have their email address or their physical address or their telephone number, whatever information you ask them for. And by you having this information, now you can send them other stuff. You can send them stuff when you're having a promotion for Black Friday, maybe. You can send them stuff just as a coupon. Like if you have, okay, if you have merch, for instance, you can send them a coupon. Say this is a $10 off coupon from our merch store. They might have not ever been thinking about buying anything from your merch store before. They might have not even known you had merch. Hello. Until you send them the coupon. So now they're going to say, well, this is $10, $10 free money. Let me go check out, see what they have to offer. Okay. So first we talked about case study. Then we talked about sending them a like PDF or like a checklist. But the last one even though there's so many more, right? There's so many more, so many more, so many more. Um, but another one could be like a free event, right? So just like I told you all earlier, I'm having a free webinar. You go to getpaidwithpodcasting.com forward slash webinar. We'll have it in the show notes. But a webinar, a challenge, a masterclass, a summit, all these things ultimately are the same. And we'll break these down in a later episode because I'm feeling I'm, I'm feeling real generous and I'm going to start breaking down and helping you get a better understanding of what these things are, how they can be valuable for your business, and also maybe how you can begin to how you can begin to do them for yourself and for your own business. Uh, but the webinar and the masterclass and the summit, these are all very valuable because people are going to give you information. They're going to give you applicable information. And it's really good because after you get this information, if you actually apply it, if you actually apply it, then you should be able to see some level of success, right? And you should be able to say, wow, I was at point A from me going to this webinar, this masterclass, attending this challenge. I was able to go from point A. Now I'm at point B at least, right? You might be able to go further, but you're at point B at least. So now by way of these people helping you go from point A to point B, the next question will be, wow, if you help me in one hour or two hours, go from point A to point B. If I worked with you for three months, how far could you take me then? You see what I'm saying? Right? You, 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 you get it. You get it. And before I even go any further, I want to let you know if you've ever, if, if you think there, which one do you find the most value in? Is it the, the, um, is it sending the case study? Is it the PDF checklist or is it like webinar summit mascot? Which one do you think you're going to apply in your business or which one do you see the most value in? But I, but I want to just I want you to understand that with the webinar, the masterclass, the summit, these are really valuable not only because you can take an individual from where they were to now further but they're also going to begin to establish a level of trust with you. Why are they going to establish a level of trust with me, John? Because they've spent time with you. And if they spend time with you, then they'll be able to get to know you. And if they're able to get to know you, like I always talk about, trust, like, and know. Trust, like, and know. 
understanding these things, people are more inclined to do business with you if they trust you. If they trust you with their time, then eventually, if you keep nurturing and keep serving this audience, Then they'll begin to trust you with their wallet. But you have to make them trust you day in and day out over the course of I don't know how long it's going to take. Some people, it might be three days. Some people, it might be three hours. Some people, it might be three years. But ultimately, when people see that they can trust you, now they're more likely to do business with you. They say, oh, I can trust this person, not only because they gave me free game and helped me go from point A to point B. But in addition to that, this person has been consistently adding value to me through maybe what they call an email sequence, right? This person constantly puts free, valuable content online. So now I'm intrigued and now I want to learn more. I feel like they can help me and I want to further inquire. So family, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're talking about um, what is a lead magnet, right? What is a lead magnet? And just like we said earlier in the episode, it's how you get people who are interested to go from likers, the liking comments, liking posts, liking everything like that, to transition now to action takers, right? So they're no longer lookers and likers, but they're action takers now. So that's what a lead magnet is. It's to get the attention of those who are really interested in what you have to offer. Be sure to uh, follow the podcast on Apple and or Spotify, wherever you stream, right? But if it's, if it's on Apple, then I'd encourage you. I'd encourage you just to take time and, and just write us a helpful review so we can shout you out. And if you've got valuable, if you've got valuable insight from the podcast, please share this with a friend, share this with a family member, share it with somebody that you know that can benefit from it. All right. So be sure to do that right there. We love you. I'm rocking with you, and this is your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And until next time, family, peace, and God bless.